Well, the state of Colorado has come out of the worst year in recent memory with money to spare. And turns out it's a lot of money. The legislature overcompensated with cuts in 2020 and now has tens of millions more dollars in the bank than expected. As Denver 7's Megan Lopez reports, lawmakers have several ideas on how to spend it and who to spend it on. It's budget week. It's not exactly the most exciting week at the state legislature, unless... Today was my two-hour oral presentation of uh, walking everyone through, you know, the, all, the, all the decisions that were made. Your Senator Dominic Moreno. For months now, he and the Joint Budget Committee have been looking at spreadsheet after spreadsheet, deciding how the state will spend its $34.6 billion budget. This year, Colorado's in a much better place financially, but historically within these numbers, a story of inequity. Really, the pandemic has laid bare uh, some real structural inequities in how the state functions. So this time, the JBC is putting more focus on bringing more balance to the budget. On the health side, that includes an additional $6 million to address racial health disparities and $48.2 million more dollars for hospitals that primarily serve low-income patients. But also equity in how we administer our state's Medicaid program and making sure that the Medicaid uh, program uh, serves all populations equally. The state's also working to restore cuts to education funding and spending $480 million to pay down the negative factor or the money that Colorado owes to schools. I always view budgets as a very moral document as well. So Tyler Jackal from the Bell Policy money. Center says this funding is long overdue. The state plays a very influential role in guaranteeing that there's um, there's more equitable funding for schools across the board and that no student is really seeing um, kind of larger disparities. Meanwhile, for higher education funding, the JBC has set aside $100 million for grants for low income and first generation students. We are literally winning the race to the bottom. MSU Denver President Janine Davidson says now is a pivotal moment. We want our students of color to have the same opportunity for education um, that our our white students have, frankly, and they're not there. She's asked the legislature for $50 million over five years to help support underrepresented students earn their degrees. Even with these new investments, it will take years to address the inequities in Colorado's budget. It really will require a very sustained commitment. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.